to star power pack scripts is yet another intuitive way to move your workflowy lists from one place to another. Of course, we're going to make use of the start pages menu. So let's activate mine by hitting control K. And what do we see here? Well, nothing. That's because I don't have any starred pages yet. So let's star a couple of pages I'd like to move things to. Here I have four lists I'd like to star. Let me put my cursor into the list title and use the keyboard shortcut Control plus space to expand all lists. And here you'll see I only have two playing cards left over in the entire deck of cards. Let me zoom in here to the first suit, spades. And to star this page, I can do it manually by clicking on this star icon at the top right of my interface. If I now activate the starred pages menu, control K, you'll see that I now have a list here. Let me hit escape to come out of here. Okay, so I want to star the three remaining lists we saw. Instead of zooming out and then zooming into the next list, to jump to the next sibling list down, I'm going to use a super secret keyboard shortcut. Now to star this list that I've just zoomed into, there's also a keyboard shortcut you can use to toggle the star on or off. I'm going to hit Control plus Shift plus asterisk to toggle it on. Let me jump to the next list down, star this page, and finally, the fourth list, Control Shift plus asterisk again. And now that we've got four lists starred, let's go and find all the rest of my cards so that we can move them back to this deck. So I'm going to zoom out two levels and then zoom in on this list of poker hands right here. Once again, to expand all lists in any outline, just place your cursor in the list title and then hit Control plus space. What I'm going to do now is select all of my hearts in this list. I'm going to activate my Move to Star script that I've already got set up. Let me bring up my WFX prompt and I'm going to enter my shortcut ST. I'm going to select my hearts list. And as you can see, the items I selected have been moved. If you don't mind, I'm going to finish what I started. Next up, I'm going to select clubs. And for this final suit of cards, I'd like to demonstrate that the order in which you select your lists is the order they end up being sorted in your destination list once moved. So let me select my spades in ascending order. Activate my WFX prompt my shortcut ST and spades. I'm going to click this link here to follow items that I've moved. Here you'll see that everything got moved into the order that I had previously selected. Now let me zoom out one level. And here you'll see all the cards I moved are in their respective suits. Okay, so let me quickly run you through the steps to set up a move to star script. I'm going to jump to my embedded power pack list, WFX. Let's zoom into move to star and then set up script. WFX prompt. I'm going to use my built in shortcut maker, WFS. True, I want to move items to the top of my destination list. 
And then for this last step, let me choose a shortcut to activate my script, ST. As you can see, I'm already using this shortcut, but I'll replace it anyways. Although the move to star scripts may offer a similar dynamic to the previously seen move to tag script, the distinguishing feature of move to star is that it is super quick to star pages. And then also there's the fact that you can tap into your already existing items in your starred pages menu so that the lists you frequently jump to, you can now move stuff to. This makes the move to star script an incredibly versatile tool which allows you to add a destination list to your starred pages menu on the fly and then quickly move stuff there. So that's it for this screencast, but we still have more Move to Script tutorials ahead. You'll find a link in the description box below the video for the next one up.